Hi, David O'Brien here at St. Thomas's Blackpool, and um, I'm hoping to do a weekly update on the church website. I was thinking today um, of a reading in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41, and it's where it describes Jesus and his disciples who are caught in a great storm, and amidst um, real fear and real danger the disciples are panicking but jesus is asleep in the stern of the boat on a cushion and they wake jesus up and say rabbi don't, don't you care if we, we drown and jesus stands up in the boat and rebukes the wind and the waves and says quiet be still and the storm stops and i was reflecting um, earlier in the week on two prayers in the book of common prayer obviously um, 1662, but the ideas in the Book of Common Prayer come from much earlier in our history. And one of the prayers is a prayer for deliverance from pestilence and plague and, and general sickness. And the other prayer is a thanksgiving for deliverance from plague and general sickness. And there are various other prayers of thanksgivings for deliverance from pestilence and from bad weather. And what it reminded me of in the midst of um, the real situation that we face and the fear within our society at the moment around the coronavirus and the implications of that, it was a reminder that despite the reality of those dangers and the situation that we face ourselves at at this time, Jesus is with us. And Jesus was with the disciples in the storm, and Jesus was with the disciples through the storm, and Jesus was the one who brought the disciples to the other side of the storm with his power and his authority. And so where does that leave us at the moment? We, we cannot gather here in the church as we usually do, but we are still the church of God, even though we may be dispersed. And so each week, at different times, I will be celebrating communion by myself in the church, but I'm not by myself. I'm here with, uh, with, with all the hosts of heaven and here in the presence of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I'm here in unity with Christians everywhere in the world spiritually. And as I celebrate communion, I do so with each one of you in my heart. But whatever our circumstances are at the moment and how long the journey is that we're on at this present time, that Bible passage and those two prayers from the Book of Common Prayer are a reminder that God is with us and previous generations have faced all kinds of danger and in the midst of them they've turned their focus to Almighty God. And that's what I would encourage each one of us to do at this time, to follow the government guidelines in terms of health and safety and good practice, to care for one another, to phone one another up if we can't get out, to let people know if you need some kind of assistance, to keep in touch via um, the internet, the telephone, or contacting the, the, the church. Just don't feel that you're on your own, even though you may have to be in isolation. The church is here, and God is always with you. Jesus said, where... <laughs> Where can, where can you go that, that, that I'm not? He said, I am with you always. I'm with you always, even until the, the very end of the age. And a reminder in the Psalms that wherever we go, God is present. Psalm 139 especially reminds us that we're, whether we're here, whether we're in heaven, wherever we are, God is with us. And so hopefully what I'm trying to do um, is give you some kind of weekly update I'll put something on the church website at least once a week. But for now, I just want to remind each one of us that wherever we are and whoever we are, Christ promises to be with us. With that in mind, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you're there in the midst of the storms. We thank you that you're greater than the storms. And we thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. At this time, I pray that each one of us will know the presence of your blessed Holy Spirit and that when we do come together as a church, we will come back with great testimonies of how you've answered prayer and how you've kept and how, Lord, you've been working in our lives. I ask for your honour, praise and glory. Amen.